Welcome to Kids Fun Science. My name's Ken, and today's experiment is the tornado tubes. As always, adult supervision is required. What you're going to need for this experiment is a tornado tube connector, which you'll find where to buy in the description, and two bottles, one liter or two liter. A helpful tip is when you remove the cap from the soda bottles, there's often leads a little jagged security ring. To ensure the best seal with the tornado tube connector, make sure you remove that from the, the bottle. Fill one of the bottles about three quarters of the way full of water. Then take your tornado tube connector and tightly screw it on to the top of that bottle with the water in it. Once that's securely tight, then take the empty bottle and screw that into the other connector end. What would happen if I flipped the bo bottles upside down? Well, you would assume the water would go to the lower bottle, but it can't because the lower bottle is filled with air. When I squeeze the bottle, you see water goes to the lower bottle and the air bubbles come up, but it won't go continue to do that until they can swap. In order for the air to rise and the water to fall, they must change places, and when they do so, they must pass one another. Much like two people moving the opposite ways through a doorway, they must move over so both can fit through the same space. By making a circular motion on the top of the bottle, it allows the water to swirl around the outside of the bottle while the air travels to the center of the tube. The gravity forces the water down and the air up. Two substances cannot take up the same space. The water is heavier and wants to be closer to ground, more than the air. The vortex allows both the air and water to trade places at the same time. Remember to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.